Hello and welcome to Summon RPG. I am Sovereign. Today we are going to be looking at some of the madness that's on Twitter when it comes to Path of Exile. Uh, there's a couple of things that are bookmarked, a couple of things I wanted to like to just check out because there's some mad shit on here. It's actually hilarious. Now, one of the things that was popping up like all over the place on X, I said Twitter for some fucking reason, on X is people talking about the tier lists that are all over the... In look at this. Look at this dog shit look at this dog shit you got like poe2 dropping massive bombs all over the place and this guy's dropping a slave house tea like well, i don't even i don't even know so there was several content creators that i was uh following ever since path of exiles 2 did that big release so i was starting to follow them i never really used x before this is uh, it's brand new like this thing is brand new i was just using it to get some information and some stuff and there was a couple of content creators that were just popping up with holy shit there are tier lists and guides for po2 e or poe2 already can't even speak i get being content goblin but just chill a little bit and play the actual game now it started off with one person like that there's one person started doing it and then a lot of other content creators from path of exiles one and from diablo 4 started mimicking the same thing like you got gazzy here talking about a swarm of content creators making guides and tier lists already for clicks and views is insane it's insane that not even what that it even works to begin with i can't even for some reason i just can't read today some of us have had more time to play in the game and not a single one of us diving into this insanity so i was looking up at that and then like people started doing like local holes started doing period two build lists just taking a piss and stuff and then when like there was a lot of people that were commenting like oh this is disgraceful people doing this already click hunters blah 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 blah, blah. but then people started looking i've typed in path of exile 2 tier list now we can type in anything in here let's put in class tier list let's pop this up here and see what's good over here we got a couple of videos we got some videos on every class explained all 12 classes best class for you new class ascendancies explained don't miss this and the only one i ever found was from moxie like moxie did a video on ranger class overview and like some theory crafting videos but i went through as much of the internet as possibly could to try and find these tier lists for path of exiles 2 and while i'm searching for path of exiles 2 tier lists all i'm finding is like the only tier list i actually found was from path of exile 1 so let's have a little quick look at some of these every class explained videos ads have become a menace on this bloody site now man Careful. So this one just seems to be a video explaining what the classes are that we know so far from the, the reveals the and stuff. So that's the first video that come up with every class explained. All 12 new classes explained, best and worst. Hello, Let's have I'm a look. Hello, I'm Red Other eight, but again, the four that are less shown are ones we kind of know about from POE1. Even this anyway. video just seems to be explaining classes, what has been Warrior, happened. The, I mean, this is the most hated one so far that I've seen from people in the comments saying he's just making clickbait content. So the top comment from Mr. Rage Gaming Videos, guys, is literally videos to explain the themes and mechanics of each class so people can better make a choice of the fantasy not sure that it's upsetting in any way which i actually did go through the entirety of the video and there's nothing in there that's stuck to anything like um i'm sure like there's, there's people i bet this was downvoted to crap because of a lot of the path of exiles content creators were shitting on this and basically they, they were calling out people saying oh these guys are doing tier list videos i'm not going to call out any names and then have this video like in bold big up in the full screen kind of thing just basically pointing out this exact one now there's another one here by rage gaming videos is class indices for you hello and welcome back to rage gaming and, more and this one is just another video explaining what we know so far about all the ascendancies and shit so i'm yet to find a single video that is a guide for anything like for anything i can go through this all day long pick a class every class coming to path of exile 2 which among gameplay live streams path of exile sent me a gift and that's about opening the box probably is it about opening the box yeah it's about opening the box why diablo 4 players will hate path of exiles 2 i don't even understand why that that's that's a video i can understand actually i do understand why it's a video because people are saying path of exile is too damn hard but we'll see when the game's fully released watch before you play Path of Exiles 2 has actually done it. I do love a bit of Darth microtransaction. I do watch a lot of his content. Like, he's a pretty damn funny guy. And he's pretty nice as well. He doesn't shit talk like a lot of other content creators do. Especially for the type of, like, comedic content he makes. He doesn't really shit talk all that much. None, none, none. Gameplay and gearing. Gameplay and gearing. Don't miss this insane new endgame, PO2 versus D4. I played First Impressions of New Class Gameplay. Moxie's done quite a few videos on this so far, like over the months and time that he's been playing the game. Oh, I thought I found one there, but it's not. It's just a Path of Exiles Rule Beginner's Guide. Fully explained. Everything revealed. Open world games. Now, here might be one. Oh, no, and that's just another one. Fucking ads. I can't get my ad 
block her to work on this bloody thing anymore. It's probably because I'm using Chrome. All right, so yes, I was flown out to LA to go hands-on with Path of Exile 2. And I, I haven't actually watched one of these guys' videos the in such there, a long time. There's only two flasks, just a life and a mana flask. We've actually changed how the flask system works in PoE 2 very recently. And okay, so this video is just um, it'll make them a recording a of the and answers given and by so you can expect to see a lot of that coming really Jonathan quickly. during his interview. Now, in order to make the end game happen at the same player level, we've had... So, there's nothing there. That, there's nothing there that's about pointing out the fact. It's just information, theory crafting. Puff XR2 is a game changer as Diablo 4 in trouble by the lovely Rob2628. Hey, He's everybody, such a nice dude. Here. Path of Exile 2. It was just like he's been running really fast. Reveal, and the infinite endgame systems, basically, that's fixed. And they are launching um, next year. Um, the Huntress here is And this not is just another a, video of another content creator con talking about what's coming up, his thoughts and impressions on it. This video is actually pretty nuts when Asmogold does. Look how much fun that dude is having. That dude is having the time of his life. Look at him. Look how fun it is to be meta. Open the passive skill screen. Spend we have Mr. Josh Strife Hayes. You gain a skill point to press P or click on this one. Oh, this is the moment everyone stops playing, isn't it? Ah, yeah, this is Path of Exile 1, it's Path of Exile 2. Look, there's not even that many videos out for Path of Exile 2, man. There's gameplay details there from a year ago, total beginners. Let's just, like, put in Path of Exile 2 by itself. Let's see what it does then. Let's see what pops up. we got Mr. Gazzy TV, one of the complainants of all of the hundreds of content creators coming out and explaining that they, they, they all these tier lists all these massive massive tier lists we've got kriparian take on pf poe2 nothing there softcore change forever five x2 might be the best i okay here's one maybe you know, the best every time RPG i see time. more gameplay for path of exile 2 i'm honestly blown away like this game is looking this guy doesn't so make good. a lot of content i almost can't believe it part of the reason i can't believe it is because path of exile is already doing very well. well the game is some consistently of the stuff he does one of the most insane, played on all of steam and has so someone who hasn't played it maybe the best rpg might be the best rpg of all time okay good times good job man i mean i love the way that it looks so far path of exile does look pretty damn cool but i'm waiting to get my hands on it I did do a couple of videos talking about what the information was released and stuff like that, so I'm not really talking about that. But we have Lokohol here. Where are all the build guides and tier lists everyone is complaining about? I did a bunch of searches. I'm not seeing anyone. So literally, just some content creators just started talking about it. And then all of the people started following and started talking about it as well. Then they started commenting on anything that kind of looked like a build guide or a tier list ended up getting shit on and mass dislikes. That's basically what happened here. And I'm not sure why they're doing it. I'm seeing like there's other there's other content creators in there that like um, like DS Lily who's shitting on a lot of people. There was, there was even a like I, I even saw a tweet that she put up about gate keeping content by making a centralized site for compiling good poe resources instead of having to jump around random youtube videos and guessing if it's a safe pick i mean yeah that's a good idea but who's going to decide who the safe pick is is it you guys are, are, are the content creators the biggest ones for path of exiles are they the ones that are going to decide whether something's good or bad or not and whether it goes up on the website or not i'm kind of confused with that one there's a comment here so this is your agenda poe community does not agree with you at all i am making a website that is going to compile only vetted good builds and guides but most poe creators are pretty safe to follow see like it, it feels like all the path of exiles one creators are trying to cut off all the creators that uh, haven't done any poe content before and are just starting to do poe content it's kind of weird to me a little bit now i don't even want to fucking know what that is and what the am i just am i old or what the fuck is a game of bottle w what is a game of bottle is that just a bottle that you just leave on your desk because i've got like 200 monster cans sitting here but they ain't growing shit there i at least clean it and i'm a messy bastard remember that you only get one shot to play path of xr2 for the first time there will be definitely be people making content with build guides guides strategies and more i'll be making some as well you can follow these if you want but for me the most fun aspect is the exploration discovery you are one of the content creators sir you are one of the content creators that actually gets paid to go and explore and discover. So that's kind of like weird. Overcoming the bosses, figuring out your build, gathering gear, which is also something that you do full time. You may not ever have another time where all of this isn't just figured out for you. If you're worried about your build being bad from what I've played, GGG has done a significantly better job of guiding you through your skill and support gem choices. Respecting is much easier and you have more time to control over it and blah, blah, blah. All of the esoteric information that you use to have dig through Reddit or wiki pages to figure out is all in game and easy to access. It's not all in game and easy taxes none of none of none of the stuff that you still need some of the third party programs to be able to go through that, that some of the stuff isn't in the game yet at all especially in early access it might be later on 
but not yet. There is actually a reasonable chance that you could build, make a build yourself with minimal help. So like a reasonable chance. If you, I didn't understand this part at all. Don't get me wrong. The complexity of death is still there if you want it. But this time around, you may actually uh, just get lost for a while and not worry about it. Basically, <laughs> like for me, maybe I'm just a cynical bastard. Maybe I'm just the guy who's going to sit there and just be like, oh, are you calling me dumb? But like, there's a reasonable chance that you could make a build yourself with minimal help. Everyone on the planet, everyone has a reasonable chance that you could make a build for yourself with minimal help. Everyone. No one needs to watch videos. No one needs to watch guys. No one needs to do that stuff. It just takes a little bit of time. You may actually be able to just get lost for a while and not worry about a bunch of tabbing out third party tools, looking up info, watching videos and getting a torn out of the experience. You can just play the game and have fun. He says that while also saying in there, just to give himself a little bit of a drop in there for those, because everyone knows that everyone's going to be watching guides. Everyone knows they're going to be watching build guides. They're going to be trying to be the meta. Everyone's going to do it. Everyone's going to do it. He wanted to add in there that oh, he'll be making some as well, builds, guides, and strategies, just before he says that, uh, don't get me wrong, it kind of feels like he's he's saying it's going to be difficult, so you're going to need to watch guides, while saying don't watch guides, whilst also saying he'll be making guides. Confusing. I actually just found this one funny, Path of Exiles, there's versus Diablo 2. I know what I'm playing. Hint, it's not woke culture shit. If you look at these two, Beautiful gentlemen. Look at them. Absolutely beautiful. They know what they're doing. They know what they're talking about. And listening to Jonathan talk about the game is absolutely a joy. I love it so much. He's so happy about what he's created. You should watch some of his interviews from Talk It If Tried. There was some cool stuff in there. There was one even by Legendary Drops. Now he does some really pretty mad takes sometimes on the woke stuff on his other channel. Not really there either way. Like, I don't like being force fed shit, but I also don't care enough to, like, if I just don't like something, I won't do it. I won't play it. And then you have a picture of the Diablo Code creators now this interview is actually hilarious if you've ever seen it they don't even know what they're talking about they're just there to be there to be put face first on there it's kind of weird and as i was saying about the rare monsters and more when it comes to talkative trial when he's talking about his stuff with jonathan rogers it's a really good interview and talkative trial just seems like a really nice guy like he just seems like a really nice dude he's so happy all the time it kind of scares me a little bit but i would definitely recommend checking him out he hasn't got that many subscribers. Well, he's got twice as many as me, but he's definitely worth checking out. This one from Ventrua. You know the game is about to pop off when the league gave Dev apologize for server issues two weeks before launch. He does. There was actually something that I saw from a Diablo post. I don't know if I have it here, but a Diablo post is shit talking, but there was like, uh, I didn't save it. God damn it. It was a Path of Exile 2 devs talking about Diablo in a really nice way. Like it was just talking about it in a really nice way. Oh, here again, God, I hope there isn't a ton of info revealing by data mining, especially this early. Man, who cares? Just don't watch it, man. Don't look at it. If you, you don't have to read things if you don't want to. Some people like that shit. I like that shit sometimes. Not too much because I like to explain and experience it myself i'm not going to tell people not to do it just because like i don't understand you don't have to read a lot of things you don't have to watch videos about a lot of things it's like a choice you don't have to sit behind your screen doing anything you can literally just go away until the sixth play it don't look at anything and then carry on you don't have to see anything and if people choose to see it and it find out that they it's been ruined for them that's their own fault for fucking looking at it to be perfectly honest like just don't look at it if you don't want it don't look at it here it is i found it it's from imperium we're excited for the future of action rpgs this is from 20 21 and can't wait to see what the blizzard team has been working on for their upcoming diablo reveal sending our best wishes to the whole team see I, you just gotta love that shit you just gotta love that shit for path of exile they never shit on it well they actually did some shots fired the other day to be perfectly honest when they're talking about the billions it will turn up is when you start turning on double experience weekends oh no <laughs> he's got the <laughs> shovel out like he just okay keeps going. okay okay more than once they shot fires this was one of the times where they're talking about uh like the double xp weekends that you get with a lot of games the arpgs and there was one before which I can't find for some reason now. Like, I can't find it. Like, I literally can't find it. But it was when he said about the millions and billions of DPS that pop up on the screen. That was definitely a Diablo for a little tiny jab there. It was kind of funny, though. I did really enjoy it. I'm still trying to find tier lists for Path of Exiles 2, man. I can't find them anywhere. Where are these tier lists? Where are these tier lists? None. <laughs> Diablo like ARPG Rob React the Diablo like RPG <laughs> the fuck off Diablo isn't even Diablo like anymore what's this guy talking about Path of Exile is a really simple game Path of Exile rarest most expensive item just dropped twice like I can't see a single tier list now I've been searching for a while now I still haven't found a single tier list so maybe these guys are just talking out their ass I'm confused is there is there's no there's no tier list fake news guys fake news I want to thank you all for watching